WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome uh, to the 2 p.m. update at TFNN with me, David White. Uh, we have the market finally cracked. We continue to bang around the 4,000 level on the S&P cash or the uh, um, 390, well, let's call it 400 level on the spies. Options have been rather bearish through this whole week. The only question is when the market was going to actually crack. Uh, for options, uh, if you took my newsletter this morning, you would have known uh, first support was around 395 and the low end of that is around 390. My guess is we're going to bounce around in that area between now and Friday. Uh, unclear what the action is. There were some rumors when the market did break. Uh, and um, I haven't been able to validate any of them. Um, market started heading down just a little after 10 a.m. this morning. And, you know, it, was there anything big out there? Uh, there were some rumors being pushed around about uh, government shutdown, but that's uh, all I've seen, not much anywhere else. Uh, we continue to see some of these uh, stocks roll off the highs. Um, generally, sideways markets are very good for gold, uh, and uh, you should see uh, gold hold up very well in them. Uh, when we do pull back, as we've seen it today, we have seen gold go lower. Uh, crude's about flat. Uh, S&P's down about 1% now. Dow's down about uh, one and a quarter percent. NASDAQ's off about three quarters of percent. Uh, now, the question is, uh, are we getting any kind of volume that would actually put more of a hook uh, into what's going on in the markets? Let me see here. I know I've got it somewhere. There we go. About uh, 7.3 billion shares on the uh, CBOE consolidated tape is what I use. Uh, if you want a link to it, make sure and email me at path at tfnn.com and I'll send it to you. But, um, you know, seven and a quarter, pretty good volume. We had some come in. Is it blowout? No. But is it indicative of a market that's uh, maybe in a trading range and maybe lower prices are coming? I would say yes. Hang on, we've got lots of stuff to talk about on the show today in just a few minutes on most of TFNN. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest